hey guys welcome to my youtube channel i want to just give you this short video of my first week in cosmetology school at aveda in tallahassee florida yes ma'am we started in cosmetology school and we chasing them goals and we getting it in this first clip is just a tour you start off the intro this is the introduction class into everything hair and you spend eight weeks in this class you have your stations our mannequins i love it and then over to the left you have foundations salon concepts and the last course is masters for courses and the masters you know you pretty much just taking clients all that good stuff like that like i said if you don't know about aveda i highly recommend you google it they got you know the skin program the nail program the massage program the barbering program this is the barbering area right here yeah upstairs you know aveda tallahassee florida and i added some clips or whatever so i'm not going to talk much and here it is it's the pink gel for me. Okay. This is my teacher, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to show you um, on the mannequin what it kind of looks like. So I'm going to slowly, slowly work around with you guys. Good job. Beautiful. So whenever they're talking about density, they're talking about the space between each foil. So for example, if you had a foil, I'm going to go ahead and tilt it slightly forward. So say we had a foil here at the bottom. So let's just put a little guy. Yeah, really, really, like up. <laughs> um, do you think you'll prefer putting it in with a comb or just putting? Yeah. Okay. So usually, what I do is I'll kind of come at an angle so I can grab the edge of that. Doesn't always work. Up. Whenever I foil, I actually don't use the uh, tail. You're gonna come in. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's because I'm on camera. <laughs> Take your leave. You're fine, Tom. You're gonna put it up here. You're gonna leverage with your pinky over, and then you're gonna grab your lightener, and you're gonna start out a little lower. And then you're gonna put it into your hands, paint down the mid length of ends. And then if you find it kind of slipping away from the scalp, this is the time where what I'll do is I'll put my my brush vertically and kind of drag it on there. And then now I can work up pretty close. With our actual liner, I wouldn't go much closer than this. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise it's gonna expand and explode. I'm gonna grab this guy just a bit so it's just a little easier for you to reach. Then how I roll up is sometimes this line here and this line don't always match. So I put a finger on either side and roll it up and over. And you want these guys to line up pretty good because the lightener will travel along them. And you don't want to necessarily smush it. Then I'm going to go up a third. That fold is to keep the hair from slipping. Then I'm going to go on the outside edge, press in with the comb, fold over, press in with the comb, fold over. Does that feel pretty good for you? And then, so the difference is with the effect, is or so the density would be okay so i got my foil in there if i was doing a light density and my head's gonna be light foil i'm gonna go half of an inch um normally i mark you guys's things with some nail polish but i actually don't want to make it ooh, a sharpie to work i need a stand so when they talk about density they're talking about the space from one foil to the next this way up and down and so we use half an inch quarter of an inch and an eighth of an inch as our measurements so half of an inch quarter of an inch eighth of an inch so when you're looking at your section wait you're left handed right handed yes. left handed so when you look at your section you're holding it up you're thinking about how much farther into the section you're going to go. So you're going to line up the dot with the edge of the foil based on how what density you want to do. So if I was doing a light density, I'd go up half an inch. 
So that would look like lining up with that farthest one. So right about there. So I'd go across, take apart my section. Flip up that hair nice and solid out of my way. And then effect is what's gonna go in the foil. So the first one I did was the slice. So slices for fine, medium, and strong is fine is one slice by itself, space, and then a slice. Medium is two slices with no space in between them. And then a strong is three slices with no space in between them. For your weaves, it's like how much you're going through your section. So your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This would be a five different weaves. So tiny, it's kind of ridiculous almost. And you don't go through those things. You yeah. Just at the top, right? And then see how it's not super jaggedy. Mm -hmm. That's gonna help me be able to get the foil in closer. So when I go to put in a foil, I'm not gonna do any more foils like for real deep. When I go to do a foil, I can get nice and close. Whereas if I inadvertently went into my section in the deep, and I go to put the foil in, I can only get to close. So that's why I don't have to go as deep. So I'm gonna have you guys, I'm gonna have you guys do, um, um, how do you do, oh my gosh, I had brain maths for this, do five of each of the effects. So five fine, five medium, and fine uh, strong. So medium would look like six to eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It doesn't look a whole lot different than a fine effect, but it's going to give you more movement. And then a strong effect, you're still not going any deeper into the section, you're just going to go farther before you come up for air. And it will create more of like a stronger rhythm look. Is that a good thing? Good job. All right, I'm going to have like have at it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and seal your palm. So whatever we're talking about, our density, we're talking about the space in between each foil. That's all. Like vertically. So for our light density, it's half of an inch. For our medium density, it's quarter of an inch. And for our small, or our heavy, it's going to be an eighth of an inch. This will come off pretty quickly, but I don't have any nail polish which I normally use. Okay. So, I would tilt it forward to make it a little easier on you. And then, see how it's got a tiny bit of a wiggle on the line? I'm going to go ahead and get it nice and straight. Good tension, keeping the hair up and away. So, whenever we're doing like a slice, we're really only going to be doing like two hairs deep. So it's like super tiny, even at the most of what we did in foil. Then the fine effect is going to be 10 to 12 weaves. So it's one, two, three, four, five, seven. Oh, I don't want to put so much in there. So, but you can see it's, it's a little bit different than a slice, but it's like still a bit. And then um, the medium is going to be 68. So one, two, three, four, five. You can see it looks very similar, but it's just a little bit more of the ribbon here. And then a strong effect is going to be not going any deeper. You just go in longer before you turn away. So it gives more of like a big thing ribbon effect. So what I'm going to have you guys do, do you prefer to put your foil in with a slice or do you want to put it in with a slice? Oh, I'm going to do one slice so you can kind of see. Yeah, so the thing with dimensional color is there's some light and some dark. So, oh, you can take it over the Stick it in the flap there. You're gonna bring it up. And then you're gonna use your pinky to leverage down. And then you're gonna take your lightener. And you're gonna start out a little lower. Put your hand underneath. And you're gonna get your mid length and ends completely saturated first. And then see how not as close as I'd like to be? So I can take my, kind of my brush vertically and drag it on so it's a little bit closer. You know, I can get a little closer. And then you only want to go about this close to the edge of the foil because our lightener expands a lot. Then from there, this guy doesn't always fold perfectly, so I'll put a finger on either side, wrap it up and over, line this guy up first. 
and then gently tap down to get it balanced. The first fold I'm going to put in is to keep it from slipping. So I usually I go for about a third of the way. And then I like to use the teeth of the comb, but you can also use the spine. Just kind of the teeth gives me a little bit of a crisper edge. And then, like that. You feel good? Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and then, so should the, I be bringing this much like down? Or? Yeah, so I'm going to have you guys just do a medium density. I forgot to tell you, Sarah, you can just do a medium density and do the medium dot. Okay. You're looking good. You're fine there. So you're going to line this guy up with the edge of your previous foil yeah. and then go that much higher up into the section. Okay. So, and you'll leave that here. Whatever doesn't fit in your foil, you leave it out. Okay, so you just this much and then you go up that much so you can... Yeah, so if this is the edge of your foil, if you line this up, half an inch would be the tip of the foil. Okay. And then we'll go right here for half an inch. Quarter of an eighth of an
And I just want to say one last thing before the video ends. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. This is my first YouTube video, but I do plan on bringing more content of things that I'm doing. Because like I said before, we're chasing them goals and we're getting it in. Period.